a city that is both livable and sustainable, attracts creative and innovative people, and in turn, creative and innovative people attract high-value industries. In simple terms, highly livable, sustainable cities are where social, environmental and economic issues are all in balance, and where sustainable development is the guiding philosophy. Melbourne, a city of almost 4 million people, is globally acknowledged as one of the world's most livable and sustainable cities. This is why it is so important for our architects, our urban planners and engineers to be innovative and create cities where people feel proud of where they live. For example, on any given day here in Melbourne, I can walk from the CBD to a myriad of international quality restaurants or coffee lounges, bars or hotels. Or I can easily walk to one of the world's best sporting precincts with a variety of indoor and outdoor stadiums where major events attracting up to 100,000 people are held regularly. Or walk to the city's arts and culture precincts. Or to the magnificent waterfront developments of South Bank and the Docklands. The Melbourne Docklands is a new Melbourne community developed on the old Dockland site adjacent to the Melbourne CBD. It has changed the way that people see and enjoy what is already one of the world's most livable and sustainable cities. Design excellence, sustainable practice, an emerging sense of community spirit and some of Melbourne's premier attractions combine to make Docklands a world-class destination for businesses, residents, investors and visitors alike. Now all of these destinations are within a 10 to 15 minute walk of the CBD and safe pedestrian walkways, bridges or overpasses connect all of these districts. This is real livability, where a city is secure and a safe place to live and invest in, where business growth and employment opportunities are abundant and secure, be they in manufacturing, research and development, or high value industries and new technologies such as biotechnology or industrial design etc. Melbourne needed to reposition itself over the past 15 to 20 years from a historically manufacturing centre to one of knowledge based economies. Melbourne now offers wonderful business and investment opportunities in many of these areas as well as being home to some of the world's most innovative and creative urban planners, architects and designers. The Premier of Victoria, the Honourable John Brumby, is a strong supporter of the Australian Urban Systems Cluster, particularly its active involvement and engagement in China, the Middle East and India. All these regions of the world are experiencing the most rapid urbanisation in history and it's important that we work collaboratively in order to address the most critical economic, social and environmental challenges and issues that we have ever faced. and the Australian Urban System members have very strong collaborative links around the world and would now like to engage with like-minded people and government representatives. Urbanisation, good or bad, impacts on all our lives and on the environment around us. It shapes our world and, if done properly, it can invigorate us whilst at the same time enriching our economy. By working together, we can address many of the critical issues and challenges that are presented by rapid urbanisation. Yeah.